Hey guys! Um, today I wanted to film a video I've never filmed before, but I appreciate watching these videos on YouTube and it is going to be a what's in my bag video. I really love watching these videos um, from other YouTubers, um, so I basically just wanted to film a what's in my bag video. It's not very exciting, but my bag is exciting. So um, This is a bag by the brand Sam Edelman. Um, I think I'm pronouncing it properly, and it's just a black fake leather kind of cross stitching bag, and it's going to be a cross body bag, and then it's got this um, silver heavy duty chain here with a very comfortable like shoulder strap, and it's a really like you can feel the quality is like really really good in this bag. Um, and then what I really loved is that it's got this little black tassel here with these little uh, star studs on them. And then it's also got um, stars down the side of the bag here. So I've really, really, really been loving this bag recently. And yeah, I got mine on nastygal.com and I'm pretty positive it's still available. So I will link it in the description box down below if I can still find it. But basically, I'm just going to walk you through everything that's in my bag. Super exciting, I know. So, I'm going to start by, it's just got this drawstring thingamajig here to loosen it and open the closure here. And it doesn't have um, many pockets. It's just got two little pockets on the inside and one zipper pocket. And it's got like this cute embroidery pattern on the inside. So, yeah. Alright, so I've got here a packet of Orbit gum. Very exciting. Three pieces of gum left. Yes. A thing of Altoid mints with one mint left. No, there's none. And then I have my planner. I know I'm a grandma. I keep a planner in my purse at all times. It helps me feel a lot more organized and prepared for life. I'm one of those people that everyone's always like, why don't you put your planner in your work schedule and your doctor's appointments and your other things in your phone? And if I put them in my phone, I will never check them. But if I have like a physical planner, I always check it and write stuff down and check stuff off. So yeah, I'm an old lady. I have a planner. And then I've got feminine products. Let's just put that away. And what's this? Oh, this is one of my favorite hand creams that I've been using recently and I love the fact that it's in a really easy, simple, little squeezy tube for my bag just on the go because my hands get dry because I'm always hand sanitizing my hands and washing my hands. And this is the Super Goop Hand Cream with C Buckthorn Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I never really realized that you needed SPF for your hands, but hey. And then I've got probably a buttload of lip products in here, along with my keys. And, oh my god, my whole bag is lip products. Alright, let's see how many are in here. I'm a fiend. This is embarrassing. That's it. Okay, so first things first, I've got a Soft Lips Watermelon SPF 20 Lip Chapstick thingamajig in here. And that's just for when I don't feel like wearing color, which is not usually. And then this is the NARS Satin Lip Crayon in the shade Rakugan, which is one of my favorite all-time lip shades ever. I wear that all the time. As you can see, it's getting pretty low. And then I've got my ColourPop shade, lipstick shade in, I can't read. What is this? Oh, Lumiere. Lumiere by Kathleen Lights. Okay, look at me like a crack addict with all these lip products. And this is just one of my favorite, like, nighttime sort of shades. Love it. And then this is my Sugar Fresh Lip Balm in the shade Petal. And it's this really pretty mauve sort of shade. And I'm almost done with it. And I love these 
so much. But unfortunately, when I'm done with all of my sugar lip products, I'm probably going to have to find a dupe for them because I found out that fresh is not cruelty free which really bums me out because I have like four of these in different shades and I love them so much really a bummer if you do know a good dupe for those leave that in the comments down below so I can test them out and then another one in the shade rose which is basically just a reddish it kind of like leaves a reddish tint to your lips it's not very colorful um, it's not very pigmented at all it just leaves a slight red color to your lips um, it's kind of like your lips but better um, and then my NYX butter gloss in the shade angel food cake love this I wear that all the time and I'm seriously sorry for most of my bag is lip products and then this is the bite beauty lip something lip surgeon I believe um, in the shade juice love that it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it just kind of is like a lip stain it's not like too pigmented it just leaves like a sheer wash of color and they smell like watermelons so and then I've got two lip products left. This is one of my all-time favorite lip products, and this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon in the shade Envy. Oh, what is that? This is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Now, just as a quick, like... I love the Kat Von D Liquid Lipsticks. Well, actually, this is the only one I've ever tried so far, but... I love this one. I love the formulation. I love the longevity. This seriously lasts so long. It's ridiculous. And I love the color. The only thing I will say is that I don't love the Dofer applicator. It, look at how long this is. This is so long. I like being able to like hold my and you know get really close. This is like oh, I can't. I just it's difficult. If anybody else feels that, like that, let me know. I don't know. I really love everything else about it, but I'm just not a huge fan of like how long that that wand is. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I have 5,000 liquid lipsticks or lip products in my bag. And then the last two things I have in my purse, I think. Let me check the zipper pocket here. Nope, that's it. And I've got two products left, and that is a pen, because you never know when you're going to need one of those. I always find that I always need a pen when I don't have one. So I've become very making sure that I always have a pen in my purse. And then the last thing that I have in my bag here is my little wallet. I don't like carrying around those massive wallets because, as you know, I don't like carrying around massive bags because... I'm tiny and when I carry around a massive bag the more room I have in a bag the more I tend to pack in there so I bought this from the Urban Outfitters website la before Christmas last year and I believe they still have it and it's in black or like a pinky nudie kind of shade and I love this it was like probably one of my most favorite things that I purchased from Urban Outfitters and it's just this little envelope sort of opening here and then you can put cards in there and then you've got a pocket for your ID which I will not show you and then you've got an extra pocket here and then on the side and it was only like $12 I think and it was very well worth it. I absolutely love it. I've never changed it since I purchased it. So if I can still find it on the Urban Outfitters website, I will link it down below in the description box for you. But that is it. Nothing else in there. It's empty. I love but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming it for you. Um, I really, like I said, love watching what's in my bag videos. So 
If you guys have any suggestions for videos upcoming, um, please feel free to leave me some feedback or any videos that you'd like to watch or for me to film in the comment box down below and I will be more than happy to do those for you. Um, so if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up and follow if you subscribe if you aren't subscribing already and I will see you guys in my next video.